Hello Shane and welcome again to Blue Notes. Thanks for your time. You've made some significant announcements this morning about the wealth businesses, moving them back towards the customers and the businesses where they're aligned there. Where do you see wealth and insurance businesses fitting into major banks today? Well, for me, it's really simple. We have an obligation to provide access to our, for our customers to both insurance products to protect the things that they love and to save for their future. So that's our responsibility. And so we need to have that front and center in all the ways that customers interact with us, whether that's in a branch, whether that's through private banking relationships, or whether that's online. And so these changes are really designed to just to, to cement that uh, relationship even closer at the front end. In the, the detail of the announcement that you've made today, you talk about bringing the business in more closely to the other operations in New Zealand. Is that a similar model for Asia as well? Absolutely. The key design principle here is really to bring the wealth business as close as possible to our customers. And that inevitably means to marry it with our retail businesses. So we're doing that in New Zealand, we're doing that in Australia and absolutely we're going to do that in Asia. And you know, the industry around both insurance and investments is a fast evolving one. There's a lot more regulation happening there. There's a lot more capital intensity. There's a lot more compliance issues to think about. And that really causes us to really question the, the operating model or the way that we run that business to say, how do we generate the right value for customers, but at the same time generate value for our shareholders. And so there's a lot of work that needs to be done there. We're actually pretty fortunate. Our, our business starts in a pretty good uh, starting point. We've got decent returns, we've got good growth, we've got a strong franchise, but we know we can do better. And we, I just want to be ahead of the game rather than responding to it. Because there is a sense that these bank assurance models that started you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago now, haven't delivered for bank owners or for bank shareholders but you don't see it that way. No, actually our business has absolutely delivered for shareholders. As I said, you know, we've got a reasonable amount of our capital dedicated to it, but it's generated and improved its returns over time, so that's great. It's strengthened our market position, so more and more of, uh, of our customers or customers are choosing ANZ for their solutions. So we're getting value out of it. The question for us is not that. As I said, it's really to looking ahead and saying there are all these changes coming, some about regulation, some about just competition in the marketplace. We need to be ready for that. And so that says we've got to, it's time to go and have a look and just see, can we do better? We know we can. We've got a lot of options in how to do that. And I want the team to come back to me and make some recommendations. In essence, what we're talking about here is, is simplifying the business, you know, operationally, but in terms of the capital that's used as well. Is there a, a big story here for shareholder value as well? When I think about the capital that we allocate across the group today, We've got about 40-ish percent of our capital as a group sitting in our retail and commercial businesses, which are terrific. We've got about 50% sitting in our uh, institutional and Asia-Pacific businesses, and it's about only 10 that sits in wealth. So we want to really maximise and liberate that 10% of our capital and wealth and do the best that we can with it. Um, it is going to be material in terms of the impact on the wealth business, but for shareholders, given it's only 10%, it'll be a good thing, but it's unlikely to be a dramatic uh, outcome uh, for shareholders. And is there a sense that it wasn't delivering enough value in the past? No, actually, I think, you know, having created this wealth division has generated a lot of value for shareholders and for our customers. It's been a good thing. And Joyce and the team have really done a lot of uh, very positive things in terms of growing our market presence, growing our market share, launching innovative product. That's terrific, and we want all those things to continue. This is really just a recognition that the world is changing ahead, and it's now we're at a different stage of maturity, and it's kind of time for the next stage in its evolution. You've now made a, a series of announcements, both structural changes and some very big appointments, leaving aside the CFO appointment, which is yet to come. Should we expect more of these big announcements? No, I think we're largely done in uh, that. We are now sitting in, in the structure that I uh, want in terms of the way we think about the business. We've got our retail and commercial businesses set up with Fred, Miley and David. We've got our institutional business set up with Mark Whelan and strong support with Fahan. And now we've got a path for wealth in terms of thinking about how we're going to run that business in the future. So this is the team. This is the group that we want. And you know, our focus now is really around execution. Well, look, thanks very much again for your time with Blue Note, Shane. Thank you.